Hi guys, it's Miss Stacy. So this week is election week. In an election week, people vote, and voting means making your choice of something, and then putting your choice in so it can be counted, right? Putting something in, like I'm gonna put this block into this container. When you vote, you either put your vote into the voting machine, or maybe you're voting by mail, you put your vote into an envelope and then into a mailbox, right? I'm gonna show you a little video of what that would look like. All right, so you saw that video of putting the vote into the ballot box, right? And we practice putting our block in to the bowl. So there's lots of times during the day when we're playing or when we're working when we need to put things in. So for OT this week, instead of making something, we're just going to practice the idea of putting things in with all different toys and then maybe you can find some toys at your house that you can use. All right, so let's see what we have. So here's something I like because it makes lots of noise. And I know that some of you guys like making noise, right? So I have a little can and I have a big can. I'm going to put the little can in to the big can. Ooh, it's making a cool noise. Let's try it again. So I'm going to hold in my hand and I'm going to put the little can in. Making a noise. So that's one thing we can put in. I'm just going to get something that fell in the floor. Hold on. All right. So what fell on the floor was my puzzle piece. Puzzles are another way that we can put something in. This puzzle makes a cool noise when all the pieces are in. So here's one piece we're going to put in. It's a blue square. Then we're going to put in the yellow triangle. Then we're going to put in a red circle and let's see what happens. It plays a song. If we take it out. Oh no, it stops. We have to put it back in. And then we can hear our music again. Pretty cool. I'm going to take it out so it will stop. So we saw puzzles and cans that we can put in. Sometimes we just want to play with toys, right? I like to play with these cars. They crash into each other. They're rolling. But then when I'm done with them, I don't just want to throw them. Right, some of you guys might like to do that. But we don't want to throw our toys when we're done. We want to put them in to a container. Right, at school sometimes we have an all done container. But you could put them into whatever container they go in. So we're going to put them in. Right? What else do you think we can put in? We have a shape sorter. Have any of you guys ever seen one of these? It has different shapes. And we can look at the holes and we can put the shape in our hand and find the one that matches and put it in. Uh-oh, I almost put it in the wrong hole. I'm trying to do it upside down. There we go. In. I put in a square. Here's a circle. I'm going to put in a circle. In. We'll put in another square. You know what this shape is? It's a red triangle. We're going to put that in. Here's a purple X. We'll put in. And another purple X going in. What's this? A blue circle in. This blue circle doesn't look like it belongs here, but we'll see if it fits. If it fits, we'll put it in. It does. So we put all those things in. Look, now they're all inside. I think we have some more things that we can put in. Let's see. Oh, here's something that's good. If you want to try something to use your fingers. See this? I have a button in my hand. We have a little hole that somebody made here. It's kind of like putting something into a bank. If you have a bank and you put quarters into it or pennies into it. So I'm going to hold this button in my two fingers and I'm going to push really hard. Look, it's not in all the way yet. I'm going to push until it goes in. Push, push. Here it goes. Yay. See that? It's not there anymore. It went in. Now it's inside the other buttons. 
What else do you think we can put in? We did that other puzzle before. The backpack puzzle is kind of easy. Here's a different puzzle that when we put the pieces in, they make a noise. Should we try? We'll take them out and we'll see if we can guess what animal it is when we hear the noise. All right. So, do we know what animal this is? We'll put it in and we'll find out. Oh, oh my goodness. I think it made the wrong noise. There we go. You hear that? When we put it in, we heard the rooster noise. It was confused at first. It thought it was a different animal. All right, look at this animal. Let's see what noise it makes when we put it in the puzzle. Get ready. Oh, it's a cow. It's saying moo when we put it in. Look at this. Still out of the puzzle right now. Let's put it in and see what it sounds like. Oh, it's quacking. It's a duck. What this guy? What noise do you think he'll make when we put him in? Oh, it's a horse. We put the horse in. What about this? Let's see what this does when we put it in. It's a dog. That's what the rooster thought it was, but that was the dog. That made the right sound when we put it in. How about this guy? Let's see. It's a pig. The pig is saying, oink, oink. What's this? Put in. Oh, he's saying, bah. And last one. We're going to put this in. And we'll see what sound it makes. We're going to put in. Oh. It's a cat. He's a meow. So now look. All the puzzle pieces are back in. We can see all the animals and they made a noise. We have a few more things we can put in. Let's see. See this guy? He used to be a tennis ball, but now he's a funny little ninja turtle guy. And he's hungry. So when we use our fingers, we can squeeze and we can put things in his mouth. Right now I'm going to put my finger. Ah, he ate my finger. Oh, no. I don't want to eat my finger. We're going to give him some other food instead. Ready? Do we think he wants to eat this little orange thing? Do you want to eat this? He says yes, he does. All right, ready? So I'm going to squeeze my finger so his mouth opens, and I'm going to put it in. <gasps> Look, can you hear that? Now it's inside his mouth. We'll give him one more. We'll give him some green food. Ready? So I'm going to squeeze, put in. Oh, no, he's got my finger and the food. Ah! I let go, so just the food is in and my finger is out. My finger is not in anymore, it's out. Yay! Thank you. Do you have any more things you think that we can put in? We have these blocks. Right now I'm taking them all apart. So they're going out. And then we're going to keep putting in. So here's a big one. I'm going to take the green one and put it in the blue one. And then we're going to put in a yellow one. And we're going to put in a red one. And then blue is going in. Next going in is green. Next going in is yellow. So they all went in. So many things. All right, we're going to do one more. You guys know what this is? Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head is two ways you can put things in. Right? You can put things in to the holes. So here's some eyes. And here's a hole. And we're going to put the eyes in. That's one way. Should we give him a mouth too? He's going to stick out his tongue. He's going to go. Uh-oh. He's sticking out his tongue. But you can also... Put things in here, right? Oh no, he lost his eyes by going in. And his tongue is going to go in. Now they're inside. Now he doesn't have a face. Poor Mr. Potato Head. But when I'm done with them, where do you think I'm going to put them? I think I'm going to put them back in the bag. We're putting in. All going in.
So those were just some of the toys that I had. But I'll bet that you have lots of toys at your house. Or even if they're not special toys with things that go in, you have things in your house that you can put in that you can practice, right? Maybe you have a favorite stuffed animal or a favorite toy that you can try putting in to the bowl. Or you can try putting it into your bed, right? So putting in just means taking one thing and putting in the other thing. Just like we do on election day, right? That's how we started this, that we were putting our ballot in to the ballot box or into the mailbox. And we can practice putting all our things in. Because it helps us learn how to play, and it also helps us learn how to be clean, right? Because we don't want to be just putting stuff all over the place. We want to be putting things in. Everything in. Alright? So I hope you can do some playing at home, and we'll see you soon. Bye!